Welcome to this video where we are going to introduce you to RK Hunter, a powerful security tool for Linux and Unix systems. RK Hunter stands for Rootkit Hunter, and as the name suggests, it scans your system for rootkits, backdoors, and other potential threats that could compromise your security and privacy. Rootkits are malicious programs that hide themselves from detection and gain unauthorized access to your system. They can perform various malicious activities, such as stealing your data, spying on your activities, modifying your system files, or launching attacks on other systems. Therefore, it is very important to detect and remove them as soon as possible. Arc Hunter is an open source tool that is easy to install and use. It performs various checks on your system, such as comparing file hashes and permissions with a database of known values, searching for files and directories that are commonly created by rootkits, looking for suspicious strings in kernel modules and processes, detecting hidden files and directories in system folders, scanning within files for malicious code or signatures, checking the network ports and interfaces for listening services, verifying the integrity of the system, binaries and configuration files. Arc Hunter can also check for updates to its database and program files and send you email alerts if it finds any warnings or anomalies. You can customize RK Hunter to suit your needs by enabling or disabling specific tests, setting the file hash function, choosing the package manager, and configuring the email and syslog options. In this video, we will show you how to install and use Arc Hunter on Debian-based distribution, but you can also use it on other Linux distributions such as Arch Linux or Fedora Ubuntu, etc. We will also explain some of the common output messages and how to interpret them. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of RK Hunter and how it can help you protect your system from rootkits and other threats. To install RK Hunter, you need to open your terminal and type the following command sudo apt install RK Hunter. This will install RK Hunter and its dependencies from the official repositories. Configuration. Before using RK Hunter, you need to update its database of known rootkits and malware signatures. To do this, run the following command. sudo archahunter update. You can also update the file properties database, which contains information about the files that RK Hunter will check. To do this, run the following command. sudo archahunter propopt. To use archahunter, you need to run a system scan with the following command sudo or counter check this will perform various checks on your system such as comparing file hashes and permissions with the database searching for files and directories that are commonly created by rootkits looking for suspicious strings in kernel modules and processes detecting hidden files and directories in system folders scanning within files for malicious code or signatures checking the network ports and interfaces for listening services, verifying the integrity of the system, binaries and configuration files. The scan may take some time, depending on the size and complexity of your system. During the scan, you will see the output messages on the terminal, indicating the status and results of each test. You can also view the scan report in the log file, VRR log, Hunter. Log. The output messages may contain warnings or alerts, which indicate that Arc Hunter has found something suspicious or unexpected on your system. However, not all warnings or alerts are indicative of a rootkit or malware infection. Some of them may be false positives, caused by legitimate changes or updates on your system. Therefore, you need to analyze the output messages carefully and verify the source and nature 
of the warnings or alerts before taking any action. If you are sure that a warning or alert is a false positive, you can add the corresponding file, directory, or command to the whitelist in the configuration file so that RK Hunter will not report it again. If you are unsure or suspicious about a warning or alert, you can investigate it further by using other tools or methods, such as checking the file contents, permissions, ownership, timestamps, or processes. If you confirm that a warning or alert is a true positive, indicating a rootkit or malware infection, you need to take appropriate measures to remove it and secure your system. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and useful. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Your support means a lot to me and helps me create more quality content for you. Thank you and have a great day.